cream looks good, but we might mm -hmm. not get to enjoy any of that this weekend unless we're under a blanket. Yeah, maybe. it's still, it, I, I think we're still in ice cream weather, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on your threshold, you know. You I have a low need threshold. A low threshold, so uh, no ice cream for Megan. Ice cream always for extra for year, year round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it is going to get chilly this weekend, though. Temperatures are really going to be falling off. We even have some spots that could wake up Sunday morning to frost, but it's still warm for the time being. We have these uh, clear skies for the most part. Great temperatures still going on. And look at this 73 in Pittsburgh, 74 Latrobe, Washington, 73, 75 Waynesburg. So most of our temperature is pretty warm. There's some of those higher clouds starting to work back into the area. And this is out ahead of some rain. And when you wake up tomorrow, there's going to be some scattered light rain around. So we have the great temperatures, low dew point, low relative humidity, and light winds from the southeast at six miles per hour at this point. Today we got up to 74 degrees, 10 degrees above average. Our low was 50, which was six degrees above average. So it's been a warm day all the way through. And right now, the cloud cover is from Cleveland to Akron to Canton down towards Marietta. And then you look back to the west and there's showers associated with this. These are going to creep towards us, so we don't have to worry about rain really until close to daybreak tomorrow. That's when we start to see the first chances of rain moving in and they'll be gone by the time we get to lunchtime. So it's not going to be a long rain. It's not going to be heavy rain. It's just going to be light scattered morning rain for the most part. And you can see Futurecast here shows that those clouds continue to build towards us. So midnight will be cloudy by the time we get towards morning 7 a.m. Scattered light rain around lunchtime. It's gone. Then we see those skies clearing out and it looks a whole lot better as we get into the second half of the day. Now the other big factor here is the temperatures as we get up Saturday morning tomorrow morning. It's going to be in the upper 50s. We're going to dip down a little bit and make it back to the mid 50s in the afternoon. So it's going to be a cool day all the way through once that sun comes up early Sunday. Many of our temperatures are going to be down into the upper 30s and low 40s spots like Clarion up into uh, Oil City, Venango County area, Jefferson County. We could be seeing some frost up here with temperatures down into the mid 30s. That could be a, a possibility. So keep in mind Sunday morning we might see some patchy frost north of Pittsburgh. 57 with those clouds increasing tonight. That's too warm for frost and our high tomorrow is 57. So not much in the way of temperatures changing. After we get through those early showers, the sunshine will come back. However, it will remain cool and you can see those clouds sticking around through lunch. Once we get into the afternoon, it's going to be a quick clearing. We'll get right back into that sunshine. However, it's going to be deceiving because it's going to be chilly compared to what we've been seeing the past few days. Sunday, 61 degrees with mostly sunny skies. We'll keep it nice on Monday too. a couple degrees below average there. Temperatures bounce back on Tuesday. Next front on Wednesday sets us up for temperatures in the 50s for highs again Thursday of next week. And remember, you can track those showers. You can track the sunshine. You can even see those temperatures drop with the KDK weather app. It's free in the App Store and Google Play. Just search CBS Pittsburgh.